We're fired up to be you know, still playing. I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's March. This is the best time of year for college sports, and we get to keep playing one more. Um, you know, Bowling Green is, is, is a high-level team. We got to see that um, on Wednesday. Um, you know, they're, they're really, really tough in the paint type of team, um, you know, trying to pound it in there. And that, that's where they made their run in the second half. I was really pleased with how we came out of the gates. We were the more aggressive team. Um, after finding ourselves down in the first four minutes, but we kind of got back to who we are. We had great disrupt. Um, we got 12. 12 stops in a row in our run. I think it was a 20 to 2 run. Um, and, you know, went into halftime, I think up 12 and, and just loved the basketball we we're playing. But we knew they were going to make another run at us, which they did. And that's where the real value in this. I mean, obviously, you know, for Anthony and the celebration of this year's team, you know, you got one senior. Let's keep playing one more. He's three points now away from 2,000 points, which is really, really special. But in terms of our program, you know, a, a, an opportunity for us to continue to grow, continue to make plays, winning plays, learn how to win in tournament basketball. Um, you saw he, you know, CJ got heated up. I mean, goes, you know, two, four, six on, on tough pull-up jumpers. And then, you know, you see Q making a big-time three after coming out of a timeout when it's a tie ball game. And then you see uh, Rashid being able to get downhill and make a game-winning pass to Eric Molder. And those game-winning plays, like, that's going to help us, you know, as we progress progress through this tournament, but then also as we move into next year and, and you know, and target a Horizon League championship. I mean, you know, we get, I'm very envious of Oakland right now. Um, you know, that's a team that we beat by 21. We're up 31 with eight minutes left. Um, but they had a, you know, better year than us. They, they won more league games than us, and they've done a great job representing the Horizon League and the number one seed and uh, beat Kentucky last night. And, you know, Golke, there was no surprise on what Golke did yesterday. You know, he did it to, to us uh, at, at at, 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 at War Memorial Coliseum. I mean, he's an elite player, and so, you know, that's the situation. We want to keep getting better, so, you know, in the future, we're playing in the tournament. For you guys, looking at Tarleton State here, kind of, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's a long day of travel, a couple long days of travel. Uh, you know, what are the challenges going into a game like this where you've got that kind of travel and you've got the short turnaround and you got to go against a team that you're not super familiar with? Well, those are all growth opportunities for, for us. I mean, this group is as tough as we've had. Um, they've, they've been, you know, I think 2016 is uh, is the most wins we've had since this year um, on the road. Um, it's a huge challenge in terms of, you know, we're going planes, trains, and automobiles to get down to Texas on two days' notice. Um, and that's where that's that's growth for this year's group. I mean, they just want to play basketball, um, and there's going to be an appreciation once we get there. Hey, whatever it takes to get another game. Um, and that's the mentality we're going to need to get a win. Um, I think they've won, what, 25 games, uh, second only to uh, Grand Canyon, who's playing in the tournament league play. Um, did not lose in February. I mean, this is a really, really good, good team. And I, I heard uh, Billy Gillespie's back on the bench. Um, you know, there's, they're going to have their own excitement about that, having their head coach back. Um, and then their assistant coach, who was WAC Coach of the Year this year. So interesting situation with that. I mean, they, they've, they've had a really, really special year. And, you know, we're going to try and disrupt that on the road. What do you guys have to do to go take care of business? Uh, obviously, you, you, you saw the size that BG had. You battled with that. And, you know, you mentioned, obviously, that, you know, it's you're no stranger to, to teams wanting to, to go inside and, and pound the glass against you guys. But what do you have to do to go take care of Tarleton? State? You know, it's it's Groundhog's Day for us. Um, we hear the story. It seems like every scouting report, our guys roll their eyes. Um, you know, this is another team that's going to be tough in the paint. Um, they play double posts. They try and pound it in the paint on the high-low game. We're going to be really, really physical in the paint. We're going to have to make them play from 30 feet. Um, you know, that's that's being us. I mean, we got to disrupt what they do so they can't play a chess match against us there. And then they're a lead on the on the offensive glass, and that's where you know we got a gang rebound with five. You know, those are two areas that you know we've had to work on over and over and over again. Our guys know know, know the plan, and the more aggressive team, the team that's more engaged with playing basketball in March right now is, is gonna be the team that's gonna win the game. And I like our chances.